was going on, man. I just wanted to jump on it real quick. Just address the Fat Joe. Um, what he said about Latinos being more African than actual black people. Um, that's not really entirely true. Now, he did talk about do a lot of do Latinos or basically have black in them. Yeah, that's no question. That's no no doubt they have no they have black in them. Um, but um, but actually being more African and more black than actual black people, now that's just, that's just just foul all over. Um, you know, like I said, uh, most a lot of America don't even acknowledge the word American. That's mostly a, a reference of the United States. So that's the first thing we we need to go on to put that to bed as well. Uh, I know a lot of Latinos like to use that, that they're Americans well because uh, of the continent and all that. Even though they don't even use it, don't even acknowledge it, none of that. Um, now, there's some things to the music, um, really to the music and certain things are religious and a little bit of um, maybe food, but... I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that Latin culture pull from. Um, the first thing with that is this is going to get the division between Hispanic and Latino for Latin. Uh, Hispanic cover more of a direct line to Spain, while you got Latin that cover a general assumption of Latin speaking countries. All right, basically, let's let's really go deep in the rabbit hole with Latin is. Latin is a Roman um, official language, a Utican language. Alright. Um, it basically covers French, it covers Spanish, it covers Portuguese, it covers Italian, and it has a cross-reference of English. But English is also part of the Latin um Family, Latin uh, family uh, uh, language. All right. So technically, even a, a person out of English or speak English is Latin. And, and, and if you want to get into the bow and cranny of it, all right. So we just killed that part. Um, the the Latin part with the you know with the food, with the music, everything in American society comes from a black music. Everything that black, most music in society of music generally come from certain African presence and influences. So let's just drop that in the notion that the world's music and culture come from African culture. So that's like an oxymoron that he said. It's still true, has some facts in what he's saying, but it's an oxymoron because the entire society in the global sense come from Africa. All right? So we just nip that in the butt. You know what I'm saying? Um, him talk about the practice of not terribly true because, like, we think about Latin culture. Certain Latin culture uh, do the carnival. You know what I'm saying? Now, carnival is a straight up an African festival, African tradition, African origin of festival. It's a carnival. Most of South America don't do that. Mexico damn sure don't do that. Um, certain Central Americans don't really do practice it. Caribbean, that's more of a Caribbean thing. That's more of Jamaica. That's more of uh, Haiti, uh, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, uh, the Thomas, Virgin Islands, uh, St. Lucia's, Bahamas. Those are all carnival-centric um, type of islands and stuff. You don't really... See, you see that in a little bit of Cuba. You rarely see that in Puerto Rico. They really don't celebrate carnival out there. Um, Brazil, but Brazil is not Spanish. It's Latin because it's Portuguese. And they have a huge African presence in Brazil. So they practice the carnival in Brazil. That's where, really, you want to think about carnival, everybody will look towards Brazil. But that's a more of an African-based, uh, infusion and stuff of culture, like the Mardi Gras and the Lynx, all that. They kind of, it was more of American style carnival, um, 
but still it's more of an African presence because you forgot New Orleans have a huge black presence. So, you know, the Mardi Gras, it came from Carnival, even coming back to uh, several hundred years with the, with the slave population in Louisiana. So that kind of spin off of Mardi Gras. Um, so, I mean, it was, it's, but that's not, it was, it was, it's not based off of the, the religions of the catalog, of you know, catalyst. It was more of an African festival. Um, based on celebration of, of certain African gods or deities. But let's go on into the next one. Just, I just threw that into the bank as well. Um, rather than being more African than black, than black people, um, That's rarely the case right there, because you think of Latin, you think of Spanish. Uh, if you think of Latinos, you think of a mixture of cultures. Uh, not preservatively just being black, but yes, but black is in the the, the knowing of it. Um, Hispanic is more of a European, and maybe even partly indigenous, but mainly European. If, if more people say I'm Hispanic, they're not even acknowledging that they have black ancestry. They not they they might acknowledge the indigenous side because they you know over recently in the, in the last ten fifteen years or twenty years they start acknowledging their indigenous side. So bloodline. So Hispanic can be cast as indigenous as well, but it's always white. Latino is is is, is a basic assumption that covers everything. Um. It covers everything. It covers uh, white, it covers uh, indigenous Americans, and it also casts a side of African slaves uh, genetics in, in there as well. Um, that's why there's a divide. That's why those two words right there is such a divide. Even though there there they are in some logical term, that's what they are meant. What I said earlier. But there's also a racial content behind those two words. Um, like I said, Puerto Ricos um, rarely really claim black. I mean, I mean, there's there's Afro Latinos and the and they are hard, sadly uh, mistreated because there's a huge color caste system, racial uh, not racial but a color caste system in the, those type of societies. In Spanish or Latin, or Latin society, they have a color, uh, a colorism um, problem, very deep in problem. Um, so him just talking about the yeah, he made some points that he acknowledged that yeah, all music, their music, music that everybody doing is come from black people. He he admits that that's, that's very factual, very true. Nothing to argue. But people talk about. Uh, a lot of there is, a, is is more black than the actual black people. I that I, I can't I can't co-sign that. You know what I'm saying? Plus, um, they came. Yeah, they they maybe came certain. Uh, some of them maybe did have certain bloodlines from from the enslavers in the island, but not here in the United States. That's just totally different. If Fat Joe talking about a more of a historical reference uh, of black and Puerto Ricos and Cubans and, and all that, and yeah, he got, he has some, um, he, he speaking solid right there. There's nothing to complain. But if you, if you talk about, um, they, they were the descent of slavery. Yeah. You, I mean, that, it, that also is uh, somewhat is truth, but are they, are they acknowledging that they're black? No, that's not the case. I mean, a lot of them don't, Acknowledge that they rather not to say, yeah, I'm African. They won't say I'm African or black. You know, they don't just say I'm Puerto Rico, Cuba, uh, Dominican. And a lot of them will stop you right there before you say black, even though they might look like you and me. You know, look, look blacker than my car, look blacker than my hat. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you straight up, no, nah, I ain't black, man. I'm Dominican, I'm Puerto Rican, or this, or, or this. Now they might know if they do have some black. In the family line, you know, bloodline, but that's that's a, that's a, the that's the most acknowledgement you'll get right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, with the Fat Joe, I mean, um, yeah, he spoke some truth, but also too, he he kind of he kind of glossed him over some facts that that he should have put more in characters too, and that's just what it is. All right, 
one.